Hello, Paul Hamilton here. We're going to create this um, kind of camouflage bug. Um, I found this little area in the garden. It's got this beautiful contrast of leaves and flowers, so we're really focusing on that blue. Uh, great for kids to get out into the schoolyard and take some original photography. So let's make a start. So I'll just show you what I've done here. Basically, I open up my keynote. I've just layered some flowers, some symmetrical flowers that I've taken over the top of a green keynote shape just to get a little bit of shape there, and I've kind of grouped them together. You can see here, um, I've kind of used Instant Alpha to get rid of the background because it works because of the blue and the green of the photography. Um, and then I just lay it on top. So this is how I did it. Basically start with a white uh, background and I'll bring in one of my photos that I've cropped. So that's a photo from the garden. Uh, this is gonna work beautifully because then it's kind of got that camouflage. I'm actually using the assets from the photo. So I'll go to Instant Alpha. Now I'm gonna do a really botched job here. I'm gonna be really super quick. Um, normally with Instant Alpha, I'll kind of release, do it again and be really um, specific and really accurate with it. But I'm just gonna do this really quickly to give you uh, an idea of the process and then you guys can kind of do some polishing up or the kids can do some polishing up. So basically where I put my um, finger down or my Apple Pencil down is looking for those colors. Um, and so I'm kind of just trying to get rid of the excess. Don't worry too much about the external parts because what you can do is mask your photo and kind of bring in and get rid of those kind of dodgy parts that are on the very much perimeter of your image. Uh, you can see here, I've done a horrible job, but um, just for this, you can kind of see the, the context of what we're doing there. So if I double tap my image, I can add those bits down the bottom left-hand corner, I can start to kind of get rid of as well. Um, so I don't want them kind of coming up. Um, I've got a little bit of green there. And that's basically how you do it. And then um, obviously, if you've got just one of those, what you can do is copy uh, the selection that you've made. So if I just copy that, basically paste that again, and then go up to your brush and actually arrange and flip horizontally. So you've got that symmetrical kind of feel. Um, and if you haven't learned this skill, you press down on one finger on your other finger, you drag around to rotate. And then I'm just gonna basically select both, group them, layer it on my butterfly to give it a bit of context, um, and then group the whole lot. Now that green of the butterfly, I've actually used the color picker in um, Keynote to get it a similar color to the, to the leaves that are on the ground in my photo. I haven't shown that, I might show that in another tutorial. So I'm just going to export that as an image, make sure you've got a PNG background, a transparent, black kind of feel uh, on your transparent. Save that image to your camera roll and let's get out in AR Maker now and see if we can actually layer this down. So good AR Maker, we're gonna start, uh, create your own scene, press start. Hopefully it can kind of give me a little bit of shape. Yep, there we go there. Uh, I tap on that. I go to new on the left hand side, go to my folder down the bottom and select from my camera roll. And then to get it uh, horizontally uh, or kind of parallel to the ground, I just drag my finger down to actually get that there. I press it. Uh, I might raise this one up a little bit. And after I placed it, I can do a little animation. I'll do a little vibrate there so that you can kind of see it. Um, but I think that works pretty well. Um, I love that it's using the colors of the actual camouflage background. It kind of comes up a little bit bluer than normal, which is not great, but pretty good.